Across the country, tuition hikes at public universities are proposed or going into effect, and critics say threatening the foundation of public education. In California, students went on strike Monday at UC Davis, and faculty members joined protesters at campuses in Los Angeles and Merced as the Board of Regents met to consider tuition raises throughout the university system. In Tampa, students gathered at the University of South Florida to protest a 15% annual rise in tuition. And in New York, despite months of protests, CUNY's Board of Trustees voted 15 to 1 to approve a 30% tuition hike. Students will now pay $300 more each year through 2016, when the cost will be nearly $6,400 for four years of undergraduate studies. Community News Production Institute reporter Jessel Noor has more. We say student strike. They say tuition hike. We say student strike. About 1,000 protesters gathered outside the Brugge University campus building. Students and some faculty demanded that university trustees, who were meeting inside, take the tuition hikes off the table. Classes were canceled after 3 p.m. and police used barricades to keep protesters at a distance. Eighteen-year-old Hunter College student and Occupy organizer Alexi Shalom said the tuition increases will disproportionately affect low-income students. Shalom says the budget shortfalls could be averted if the rich paid a bigger share of tax revenue and tax loopholes were closed. There are obviously、um, budget shortfalls, but those shortfalls do not need to be picked up by working-class students. Those are the last people who can afford to pick them up. I would rather suggest that we impose. Reimpose the millionaires tax, reimpose the stock transfer tax, and、um, while we're at it, if we're really going to talk about cutting CUNY, how about cutting the administrator salaries? You know, the chancellor of the board of trustees, Matthew Goldstein, makes five hundred thousand dollars a year plus benefits. The CUNY faculty union also opposes the tuition hike. Anthony Alessandrini, associate professor of English at Kingsborough Community College, said keeping tuition affordable is part of a bigger fight for a democratic public education system. But I would want to say that it is also a struggle against uh, uh, a top-down university administration, specifically the board of trustees and the chancellor's office, that is not democratic. It's essentially politically appointed.、Um, students being pushed out of their own building, and today, as you may have seen if you've been at Baruch, students being told essentially that they're locked out of the building on their campus, is I think just the latest example of. An administrative policy that's about pushing students out of having any control over their own education. New York City Council Member Charles Barron of East New York was among several local politicians who has voiced his support for the protesters. He confronted police as they used motorcycles to aggressively pursue students as they marched through the streets. They run. I didn't want them to run the scooters into the students. So get them little scooters off the streets. Take down the barricades and go in front of Baruch College. Barron, also a CUNY alum, argues that an economic downturn should bring increased funding to public education rather than cutbacks. With all of this unemployment out now, this is the time for working class people to get degrees, skills, and that's why CUNY is essential. It was free when I went. It should be free now, and they shouldn't be hiking no tuition. City and state officials say the tuition increase is needed to close a multi-million-dollar budget shortfall. In a statement, CUNY Chancellor Matthew Goldstein said the tuition increases have quote cleared the pathway for present and future generations to benefit from access to a quality higher education. But Sarah Pomar, an organizer with the group Students United for a Free CUNY, says the fight will continue for a more equitable higher education system. It's it's a defeat in the sense of legislation, in the sense that we have to pay more tuition. But I think we need to we need to be very、um, optimistic of、um, the organizing and the level of radicalization、um, that we've experienced through Occupy Wall Street.、Um, I think I think what we need to do now is just regroup. Um, speak about really what the role of, of campus security, police, the board of trustees are、um, within our institutions and in society as a whole, and we need to just build bases.、Um, try to kind of remind people that you know the fight is still ongoing. The vote always happens, but the struggle always needs to continue. Outside a public hearing last week, police used batons to beat students and faculty as they attempted to enter a public hearing. More than a dozen students and faculty were arrested. 
During Monday's demonstrations, police arrested four students. Jessel Noor, FSRN, New York.